Well, today marks 60 years since the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, one of the most somber days in American history. And a local business makes something that is fondly associated with his time in the Oval Office. As Queen City News reporter John Lee tells us, JFK sparked the resurgence of the rocking chair. Carrying on tradition takes a lot of work. Let's see if I can do it. Behind this door, we get a front row seat to timeless wood craftsmanship. Troutman Chair Company opened in 1924. Nearly a century later, everything they make is touched by some 26 sets of hands. Notice, there's no glue. 24 years ago, Gene Land took the reins from the Brown family, who founded the company. Each oak chair is like a puzzle that's built to last. What we do is we encourage the chair to come together gently so that we don't crack posts or break dowels. Their furniture is rooted in Southern tradition. Makes a nice creaking noise. But one item is named after an American icon famous for his Boston accent. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Troutman Chair calls it the official Kennedy rocker, as in President John F. Kennedy. I mean, this chair's iconic if you think about it. As the story goes, Dr. Janet Travell bought a chair made by P&P Chair Company based in Asheboro, North Carolina. He was sitting in her office and he said, I'm comfortable sitting in this chair. Can you get me one? She prescribed it to Kennedy for chronic back pain to help relieve tension. In the White House, the president was often photographed sitting in his chair of choice. That led to a rocking chair comeback. In this image, our 35th president is seen rocking in a room that includes legendary broadcast journalist Edward R. Murrow. He owned a dozen and rode in one on Air Force One. The original creators of the piece, P&P Chair, called it the Carolina Rocker. Demand for it took off. They were invited to visit the White House, but they politely declined, saying that they had so much work to do they couldn't get away. When PNP went out of business in 2009, Troutman Chair bought the rights to the rocker design. This chair becomes a friend. This chair becomes something they don't want to part with. Because of the entire process, from the wood being used to the work by hand, every single chair is unique. It takes a large stack of interlocking pieces to make the Kennedy rocker. Beyond the labor required, it's the Kennedy connection that makes it a conversation piece. It's kind of an honor to be able to do this. In Troutman, John Lee, Queen City News. And some of us traveling for the holidays may already be familiar with the Troutman Chair Company's work. The chairs can be seen throughout Charlotte Douglas International Airport. Their rocking chairs were first placed at the airport in 1997 and have become a comfortable staple for visitors.